Hi guys, welcome to build update number one. Um, we've been a bit quiet lately on the social media scene and that's because we've been working on a, we think quite a smart tiny house trailer design. And what I'm doing here is starting the build on the very first one. So it's all designed up and now it's getting uh, fabricated by a local fabricator and I've put my hand up and volunteered to drill all the holes in it for a couple of reasons, um, just to speed up the process a bit and also just to take some learnings uh, from my drawings and try to fine tune a few things as I go along. Um, so this is a build update uh, for the customers of this trailer, Alex and Kim, who I've been working with over, oh, it's, been a, it's been a little while now and this trailer sort of developed to be a real modular, um, real customizable trailer. Um, and I think, yeah, they've seen the benefits in it. So, um, yeah, so I've made this video uh, for Alex and Kim so they can see what's, where the build's up to and what's going on. And also for everyone else as well to see what's actually involved in uh, building a tiny house trailer. Uh, some of the processes, um, some of the gear that's used, uh, how it works, I mean some of the features of this trailer. So step one is after you've done all the design, I've um, done some full production drawings. So these are fully dimensioned with cut lengths. Uh, so like the cut length table over here with the different size members, how long they need to be, what angles they need to be cut at. And there's also sort of detailing um, the joint, like where everything gets fabricated together and where all the holes go. Um, so that's the step that I'm doing now, is uh, which is the third step. The second step is where I was cutting all these members to length, e.g. that's been cut to length and all been marked up. And now I'm doing the third step which is uh, drilling some holes. So guys this is your... Uh, tiny house trailer to be. I know it doesn't look much now but um, it'll get there. So you can see we've already cut the holes in a lot of these, uh, all of these members actually and I actually dropped off half the load there last night so this is sort of half the, half the trailer and I'll drop off uh, this lot tomorrow so they can start welding it all together. Um, so these aren't really going to be how to do it videos, more an overview. Um, I've managed to borrow this drill here which is a magnetic drill. So it's got a magnetic base on the bottom. So what you can do is set that up on your up on your steel member, get it positioned, flick the switch on, and that magnetizes hard to um, the steel surface. And then you can um, pop any size drill bit you need to in there and you've got on on off backwards and forwards and all that sort of stuff and there's also a variable speed drive that tool's actually on lease uh, from toddy cheers toddy and uh, it actually belongs to class um, harvest center in hastings so if anyone's looking for a combine harvester or a tractor or some repairs on the agricultural equipment yeah go and see those guys so the next stage um, will be, we'll show you some uh, fabrication. Hopefully all these, a lot of these members will be uh, connected together. So you'll see some uh, good progress there. So I um, hope you like it Alex and Kim and stay tuned for the next one. See you.